Welcome back to another edition of the Zig Wheels new shuffle and for the second week in a row the car boys have won so the bike team has sent out the big guns to defend another week of what I believe are weak you might want to take a peek at this, but you're not I getting know, it. I know. Actually, yeah. I have, but no, never mind. But since we won two weeks on the trot, I will defend our title with the new Land Rover uh, Defender. Uh. You're on a timer this time. 30 seconds, go. Okay, new Defender, it's back, right? That's the big highlight. It is still uh, unabashedly boxy. It still has that flat bonnet. It's got beautiful alpine windows and it is still a Defender. So 291 millimeters of ground clearance. 900 millimeters of water wading depth and insane approach departure and breakover angles and because it has learned from its Range Rover sibling Five it is luxurious as well <laughs> done but does it have more in terms of off-road capability compared to the Range Rover not really yeah and does it really look like a Defender should as in modern day iteration? To me, it looks like a 10 year old concept that's been launched today. That face, uh, the DRS remind me of a uh, uh, Maruti? Suzuki, but actually wait, since you bought a Suzuki up, uh, I've got a very interesting question to throw out to you and to the audience. Suzuki recently did the Jimny, right? That was like a beautiful take on a new retro SUV. So which one do you think? did the Neo Retro better? Was it the Defender or the Jimny? What using the I button? Yeah. And what, what actually makes the Defender super interesting for me is that in the UK it's priced between 35 to 40 lakhs which means in India it will be 75 to 80 and suddenly it becomes desirable, doesn't it? Yeah, that, that I agree that it suddenly looks a little bit more tempting because of that. But hmm. while the Defender is defending Land Rover's heritage and its reputation, hmm. here in India, we are defending planet Earth and that's with the first BS6 two-wheeler in India. 30 seconds, go. Cool. Alright, and the one I'm talking about is Honda's Activa 125. Now you would think, well, you would think that it is an all-new, but it has an all-new engine. The engine is all-new, it's got a new way of starting up, it's got a, it doesn't have a starter motor separately. It's got less power than before, but it is more fuel efficient, it is cleaner, and well, it is a bit more expensive, 6,000 bucks more than the base variant earlier and the top end version. Five seconds. 9,000 rupees more, but it's got more features and has a side stand, a standard on the top end variant now. And that's big for an active. Side stand. Yeah. See, but sure. We are saving the planet here, right? Less power. Yeah, sure, but it's more fuel efficient and like socks, you were saying earlier, everybody needs socks, it does what it's supposed to and helps everybody every day. But wait, if you're talking about a Honda that saves planet Earth, that is not the only Honda that is saving the planet Earth. I've got one too and it's got the right amount of wheels, four, and it can seat five people in comfort and Chotu doesn't have to stand on the apron. So yes, the next gen, Below the Honda City. Come on. What about it? Okay, so before you start, time must start now. Okay, so the next gen Honda City it was recently spotted in India. We first spotted it in Thailand about three months ago. Difference compared to the Thailand model, different alloy wheels. That one had a lip spoiler. This one doesn't. It looks longer, wider than the old one. 1.5 litre petrol, maybe mild hybrid, 1.5 litre diesel, both BS6 compliant. Petrol CVT confirmed, diesel CVT maybe not so much. Prices 10 to 15 lakhs, Auto Expo 2020. Five seconds to spare, can you beat that? I'm going to counter that with TVS's Jupiter Grande Edition. 30 seconds, go for it. Right, it's the more premium, most premium Jupiter that you can have today. It has machine finished alloy wheels, it's got LED headlamp, it's got LED tail lamps like the city is hoping to have again. And it has, you know, beige colour panels on the inside, maroon, a maroon seat. So it's basically more premium, it has the Bluetooth connectivity feature like on the end talk. And seconds. most importantly, it has a colour called Tech blue. Would you think of Honda introducing that color on the next generation city? No. Nah, Buena. 30 seconds now. Oh, Buena. You know, you know what? I'm gonna counter his tech blue with something that he really likes. And you've got no defense for this. The Hyundai WRC blue. Oh yeah. Tell me you have a comeback for that. One sec, one sec. We'll see where we're going with this. Your time starts now. Okay, Hyundai i10 N line. Thing you need to know, uh, UK spec, so it's not the grand i10 N line, it is the i10 N line. Uh, one liter turbocharged petrol engine from the venue, not 120 horsepower, 100 horsepower, 172 Nm, 5 speed manual, proper, proper hot hatch. Best bit, Hyundai India says it will come to India in the next few months. So, power to the people. I have 
five seconds to spare, so I am just going to talk really slowly and annoy him. Done. Time. I'm going to counter that with something else. Hmm. Kawasaki's new Ninja 400. Yet another overpriced motorcycle. 30 seconds, go. It is the perfect kind of update for India because the Ninja 400 already a super potent motorcycle, really fun. And if you want that kind of performance at that price tag, it's really good. But yeah, it's expensive. But now we're getting something that makes it look faster. You've got metallic spark black and lime green color combination now, along with a lime green and ebony, which is the KRT edition, two new colors, which make it look racy. And Five that's seconds. what people want in their vehicles. Looking faster when you're doing 30 kilometers an hour. Way now, baby, right here, right now, choose it now. No, you know what? What he's conveniently missed Whoa. out. What he's conveniently missed out to tell you is that there are only 20 of those Ninja 400s, 10 in each color. So 20 people who are going to be spending 5 lakh on a 400cc motorcycle. Yeah. How do you fancy the it's most expensive? Avail it's oh. available now. Oh. We're still oh. dreaming about the i10 N line. So people win now. Here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, people who have Real. the kind of money for a Ninja 400. Uh, how about the most expensive Fortuner that you can also have right One now? One second. I'm going to uh. start the timer. Any marks? Yeah. Okay, it's called the TRD Sportivo. It's available in the 4x2 automatic, trim only, white color only, new grill, blacked out 18 inch alloy wheels. They're celebrating 10 years of Fortuner, so you get a few badges. No changes to the feature list, but it is 2.15 lakh rupee more than the 4x2 18 and roughly the same price as a 4x4 automatic Fortuner. And I have 7 seconds to spare, so you can choose 4x4 80 or 4x2 80 TRD Sportivo. Done. I don't know if he was making a case for it or against it because oh, come on. Uh, one sec. For the two and a half lakh rupees extra, huh. what's really new? Uh, the bragging rights that it's the most expensive for. No, what's new? That it's white and it has a TRD badge. No wheels. Nothing. It's got wheels. It's got 18 inch wheels now instead of 17. Oh, so that's it. That, uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, that is so lame. I'm not even gonna put up a fight for this one. And which brings me to my story, which is about an Indian, which isn't even launched yet. It has and which spun. isn't actually Indian, by the way. Yeah, okay, you might so, wanna go. 30 seconds, go for it. Right, we are talking about Indian's Challenger, which has been spied. Now this comes with a 1770cc engine, which is called the Power Plus 108, has 120 PS on tap. I mean, I'm not really trying, so yeah, I've got 15 seconds to go. This bike has just been spied right now, but that's still strong enough to counter that for me right now. Okay, what does it go up against? It's a cruiser, so it goes up against Harley Davidson's Road Glide Special, so which is like a kind of like a you know cruiser, which is not too you know the full dress kinds. I have no idea what any of that means. But, but that's because you need to step into the light with two wheelers. That's what you do. Step no. into the light, my friend. No. Actually, and one sec, before we go anywhere, <laughs> that one was in the bag. <laughs> okay, you know what, when you're talking about stepping into the light, the car team is going to the dark side, this time with the X6 Venta Black, right? You might want to start 30 seconds, but I'm going to need like, I think, 15. Start. So, it is an X6, it gets a Vanta Black paint job. Vanta Black, matlab 99.965% light, gone, right? So, the car looks 2D. You can't see the creases, curves, nothing. It looks like you're playing GTA with low-level graphics. But it you looks really don't epic. have much to talk about, right? Because it's an X6 with an epic paint job and it's one of one. Exclusive. 10 seconds to spare. Read that. Who can buy one? No one. No one. BMW owns one. That's it. That's, That's it. All Why have they made it? Because it looks cool. I think he is secretly working for the bike. Who would pick that story as well as any story to fight with over here? It's I'm got gonna... lights in its grill, it is cool! I'm going to talk about Ducati's Monster 1200S, black on black. It oh. even sounds cooler than black. 30 seconds, just go. Alright, so it's Ducati's Monster 1200S, simple enough. It's got 147 horsepower and Ducati's Monster has been an icon for decades. Huge be appealing motorcycle, practical, fun, sporty. It's Ducati is Italian. And the best part, with 15 seconds to go, you can buy one if you want one. It's got black details on black as the Vanta Black would want. But it also has the bonus of having red highlights where required. Five seconds. It's Italian, it's Ducati, and it is a win, my friend. And no, it's not. I'd rather have the Diablo. But <laughs> <laughs> he uh, said it. He actually said that. <laughs> Shh, cut that out. 
so I think that is it for this edition of the new shuffle. So no. bikes no. or cars, yeah. you get to vote. And as always, I think we need a hat trick for the car team this time. So go and pin the I button. You will see the first option, which would be cars. And if I have my way, the second option will also be cars. <laughs> so you can vote for cars for the car team twice. So anything you got to say, cars? Yeah, stay tuned to Zigbee's. We've been bringing our action here. And like for instance, we got news from Porsche. We got the 911 review coming up. We got a little bit more details from Porsche. And of course, the Renault Triver. We're going to yeah. be driving that soon. Arun is going to be going out there and checking it out and giving you a first drive impression yeah. of that. Aside from that, if there's anything else that you'd like us to do, let us know in the comments. We're always glad to get your suggestions and work things out. Yeah. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and work for the car team.